All right. Now I'm in Lapland. In Kilvisjärvi. The van is down there. I'm on camping. It opened yesterday. All this, this spring season. And tomorrow I am supposed to go skiing on the fjells. Yeah, it's getting a bit windier. Nothing too bad yet. Yeah, I'm about in the tree line. These are the last birch trees. There's a bit of more bush down down in the valley. But up there, not so much. I think I need to take the ski goggles out next. Alright. The weather got a bit clear for a while. So soon I will be start I will start climbing these fields. Looking for a campsite! We have a nice view from here. There's sauna and even I think Kilpi service visible Malla too. All right. Morning, and it is quite windy out there. Inside here, it's quite alright, but here we have some snow coming in. Well, no worries. Yeah, the barrier worked. Alright, melting snow. Or water. It's a good idea not to try or not to empty the pot totally of water to have some seed water at the bottom. Like some so it doesn't burn the pot so easily. So also if there is just a little water and you have snow, the water will suck into the snow and then you have a void again and yeah. So it's a good idea to maybe keep a stir or something from time to time. Nice view. I think I will stay in the same spot for two nights. It's very nice. Nice here. Okay, some maintenance of here. I have a bit of a problem with the ski boots. I already did some punching at home, but now the problem spot has moved. It was here. Now it's a bit in the side, so. We'll see if I managed to burn my Boots. So that I will use for bending. Feels better, but I do not know until I ski with it for a bit longer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. So, breakfast time. It's a bit wet. It's warmer. So, mm -hmm.
Okay. Continuing skiing. It's a bit snowy. No, but I can still see like a few hundred meters. No, not too bad. line should be all right yeah we'll see how this goes all right the visibility is a bit better down here you can see a few hundred or maybe hundred meters ahead so not too bad visibility anymore in front at least maybe behind me a bit more but the next field should be in that direction I will go around like that and make my camp there like I don't know four or five kilometers maybe Right now it's total white out. I just saw a snowmobile. If he's here, he's supposed to be local on a reindeer business or something like this because it, this is out of bounds for tourists. There is a designated trail. I don't see him anymore, so I guess he went down. Yeah, now I just need to be very careful with navigation as I cannot see uh, anything much alright All right, break time
hull I've got the feeling from the inside with the sled bag I'll just make one final check around Okay, now it is surprisingly nice and cold inside the tent Although it's a bit noisy but I didn't couldn't get it any tighter anymore I have cooking or melting water and it seems we have still enough holes all right so zero parts per million for carbon monoxide yeah tomorrow the weather is first like this and then the wind direction will change in the afternoon and then it continues again from the other direction so i have to see what i will do okay Next morning. We are still not buried in the snow so badly. The weather is still not the same. Huh. Gathering a bit of ice on the outside. Now it's from the side. So makes a bit more noise now. Oh, it's very stable. A bit of shovel work. The wall. This. Hi. Prepare for sleeping. We need to bring ready the weather forecast said something about 60 km per hour winds. But unfortunately we are sideways. This is a tunnel then which is designed to be like along the wind. It's around noon. It's still windy, almost windier. Uh, about 70 kilometers per hour. We have uh, some snow already accumulating on the tent, but I don't know if that's a bad thing actually.
great. All right. Now the wind is uh, getting calmer. And now I will get out of here. There is a cabin not too far, four or five kilometers from here. So first I will go there and then I will see how the uh, what I will do next. That's where I skied the day before yesterday. Oh no. Here, yeah. to go. Nice views. I think somewhere in that direction about. Yes, I think I can see the lake. Start skiing towards that. Yep. Alright, overnight at the hut, open hut, and it's very, very nice morning. Sweden and Norway behind the valley there. The road is not too far anymore, like maybe. There's actually the Lake Kirpisari before these mountains in front of them and the border also on the lake. those mountains over there. Back at the train line soon. Mm -hmm. Nice skiing condition so far. Let's see how far I can get before it gets troublesome.
so far not too bad at all the skiing all right yeah and now I, i'm following the tracks here and hopefully the sled does not push me too much Right, road inside. Now I don't know if I will wait for the bus in a couple of hours or ski on the lake, which is like five kilometers. 